What's going on everybody? I was going to start this video off inside, but this is just too, too nice of a day to be sitting in there. Got my, got a little fire going. I got the, my church warden pipe. I don't know if anybody else there smokes pipes, but I got a good collection of pipes. And today, I feel like doing my church warden with my Sutliff vanilla custard tobacco in there. So, <sighs> so relaxing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's get into the 80 meter loop uh, project here. All right, this is more for people who are, uh, some of the guys out there might be thinking, I'm going to do an 80-meter loop, but I don't have the property to do it. I just don't have the uh, dimensions of the yard to do it. Well, I'm here to tell you, it does not matter. Just as long as you get that up in the air, uh, you'll be good to go. And I'll show you my my drawing here. Because I've seen some of the drawings online, some of the drawings, it's uh, you know perfectly level, perfectly perfectly spaced upright. It's a certain height off the ground, outrageously high height off the ground perfectly fed dead center and you might be thinking I, I can't do that it's gonna be impossible I, don't, I, I can't be putting uprights in my yard and my yard's real narrow and it's long and narrow and well I'm here to show you it's it does not matter just get the thing up in the air so I'll show you first I'll show you my drawing here okay here's what my antenna looks like here as you can see there ain't no way this is a perfect loop <laughs> certain points here it's nine feet off the ground and by the time it gets downhill, it's, it's about 35 feet off the ground. And so it's, it, it is uh, most, you know, the widest is 32 feet. So it's, some people might say it's a train wreck, but this thing works. All right. So before, about a year ago, I did a video on this. And uh, I was using a one-to-one -one ballon. You know, the one-to-one, -one, there's no transforming going on. Okay. But the pros for it were, you, I didn't need an antenna tuner, but... You're, you're limited to a very very small slice of uh where, where where the antenna is cut for i think i had it cut for uh, like 3.600 anything a little bit above that or a little bit below that the sw starts to rise rapidly but right where the antenna is cut for no no tuner necessary all right so this time uh this go around i cut the antenna a little shorter to get it into the three the shift it up to 3.700 and now i'm using a four to one balloon you know, transformer and I'm in conjunction with my LDG AT1000 Pro 2 Auto Tuner, and this works fantastic. All right, so just a tiny little itsy bitsy setup works great. Don't worry about trying to make a perfect loop. All right, so I'll, I'll walk you through it, but before I do, when we go up there, you'll see my four to one balloon. It's gonna come up about four feet to the left. It's gonna make a really long run, about 110 feet, and that's unsupported by the time it gets under that tree. Yes, it does droop a little bit, sags. That's to be expected, but it's been up there in uh, rain, high winds, storms, ice, snow, <laughs> and has uh, it's really held up. Okay, 110 feet down. By the time it wraps around the tree, the, this distance to here to here is about 14 feet. I'm keep my these are very very approximate. So I'm down. I'm looking up and you know have the measuring tape on the ground just to give you a basic idea. By the time it wraps around the tree, shoots up to this tree up here. It's about 58 feet. And then from this tree all the way back to the ballon is 62 feet. Okay. And then its widest point is 32 feet. So from this tree all the way over to where the, this wire here, 32 feet. And that's it. So there, is, there you go. Far from perfect. And uh, <laughs> this side of the antenna is a little bit higher than this side by a couple feet. So it doesn't matter. Just get it up in the air. So all right. Let's take a walk through. And... Yeah, I'll get up on there and we'll physically look at physically look at it. All right, I'll be back. All right, here we are up on the, up top here, my little side deck. And right here, there's the old ballon. That was the one to one. Okay, and then right, the, the, this is all temporary up here. I, I've had no time to do anything with my uh, antennas and everything. So <laughs> right now, I just have the zip tied on top of my one to one. So here's the four to one. Well, let's take a look at that. Okay. And as my drawing, as I've shown in my drawing, the wire shoots out. But, uh, I'm sorry, it's really, I have a hard time seeing my viewfinder here. Four feet that way. Okay. And by the time it goes all the way down to that tree down there, it's about 110 feet. As you can see, the yard slopes down rapidly. So it's about, uh, it's about uh, nine feet off the ground here from the little beehive uh, in, well, from 
actually no beehives here, but on these connectors down to the ground, it's about nine feet. I can't, by the time I get out to the yard right there, it's about 11 feet. That's how high that wire is. By the time it gets all the way down there, the way the yard slopes down, 35 feet way up in the tree. All right, wraps around. We'll take a walk. Wraps around about 14 feet, comes up 58 feet there, to about 62 feet back into here, and that's it. Yep, don't worry about getting it all nice and square and straight and, you know, perfectly level. You don't got to do that, so don't get discouraged. <laughs> all right, let's hop down on the ground there and let's walk through. All right, here we are down on the ground here. I'll be standing right up there. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> such a hillbilly setup. I have a clamp, like one of the uh, squeeze clamps that just clamps the wire to, to keep it in place. When it comes back up, that's 62 feet. That's it. To clamp to the uh, railing right there, then it goes up. <laughs> Just a final one. Pretty, pretty funny. One of these days, like a time, we'll finish everything up and make it look real nice. So, okay, we're gonna come down here. Like I said, that was about nine feet, but the way the yard slopes down, right about here, it sets about 11 feet. Still about 11 feet. I'm gonna back up here. Right. Let me zoom out. I am zoomed out. So right about here. Is it 11 feet from there back and there it starts rising well the the, the wire does go up but the, you know the yard drops down significantly so by the time it gets down to here it gets higher and higher and higher until it gets up in the street it's about 35 feet let's take a walk down it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day out here okay coming down here you're trying not to make everybody dizzy okay a little spinorama here Okay, you see the wire coming up? There she goes, way up into the tree. And it's right above my head right now. So from there down to the ground, about 35 feet. Okay, so down here, I'm just gonna wrap around the back side of this tree. By the time I wraps around the back of this tree, so there's about from there ground up to about right here. But when it comes up the branch, it's about 14 feet. And it wraps around the tree that way. Okay, and then we're gonna head up this way. And that's about, what did I say, 58 feet? Let's take a walk. Okay, I'm just gonna come up into this tree here. Tell you what, that black wire is hard to see. It's, it's nice, a little bit stealthy. So from about up there, from, well, I don't think you can see it, up there, down on the ground, it's about 20 feet. And like I showed uh, in that diagram, from this tree here to the to the wire over there, it's about 35 feet. It's as wide as point. All right. And then from the tree back to the bowen, it's about 62 feet. Like I said, these are approximate. So as you can see right there, it's by far not a you know perfect loop. Now you know, is it directional? Most likely. But so what? <laughs> Get on here, don't worry about that. Okay. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, that's all it is. You can see that's my 10 meter vertical, 11 meter beam, 11 meter ground plane. And this is, as we'll see, you, it can catch the entire HF band, hand band, so that's pretty cold. But all right, we'll go inside and then uh, show you some numbers on this thing. All right, I'll be back. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. All right, here we are down in my station slash shop slash studio. <laughs> it's all about relaxing today. It's a nice, easy going Sunday. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, for this test, well, real quick. Obviously, I don't know if you know, see my other videos, but I used, uh, uh, Cakewalk by Band Lab. That's the audio processing. But for this quick test, um, I'll just be throwing the uh, the carrier to uh, check out the, the match. But anyhow, there's my transmitter. That's the Anon 7000 DLE Mark II. Okay, coming out of there, it's gonna now the Meritron LED is gonna be off, but it does pass through it. So there's that. So no amplifier. It's gonna be straight radio. So it passes through there. The Meritron LED is gonna come down to here. From my little switch box here. I have one end, one uh, switch position going to dummy load, and the other uh, wire, uh, you know, coax goes out into my antenna tuner, which is that right there. Okay. 
Okay, and then the antenna tuner up to the bound, which I believe, I think that coax is 50 feet, I think. I've never been one to get uh, wrapped up in coax length. I've never had an issue, so yeah, don't call it, I think it's 50 feet. All right, and then the wire that I use, it's right there, DX Engineering. I'll let you uh, get a peek of that. And there's that. All right. All right, so let's go through. <clears throat> I'll show you some numbers. Now, I went through the entire uh, HF band. Uh, just for illustration purposes, I uh, this whole setup is going to be used for 80 and 40. And that's about it. Just so just to show uh, different matches across the entire uh, you know, spectrum there. We'll go through and show you everything from 80 all the way up to 10 meters. All right. All right, let's get into it. Okay, here we are at the analyzer. This is what the antenna uh, tuner sees. All right, this is what it has to deal with. All right, so we're going to go all the way up. Like I said, even though this uh, is going to be for 80 and 40, we'll just keep going up. We'll see what this says all the way through uh, up to 10 meters. So in case anybody's wondering, yes, I do have my extra class uh, ham license, so the entire amateur service is open to me. In case you were wondering why that son of a bitch is keying up on the amateur bands there in that extra class. <laughs> So, all right, go on one more here. And there we go. All right, let's uh, get into the radio. Let's go. All right, guys, before we get going here, um, of course, I'm going to make sure the frequency is clear, do all this stuff. I'm just not going to show it because that'll get uh, boring really, really quick. So I know there's somebody out there who's uh, going to think, you didn't even make sure the frequency was clear. I'm doing it. I'm just not going to show it because it's boring. <laughs> All right, so let's get on into it. And we're going to go through uh, <clears throat> uh, 80 through 10, even though, like I said, this is going to be for uh, 80 and 40. But uh, we'll just see. Let's just see how it uh, goes through the entire HF uh, you know, uh, band, all the bands there. So, all right, let's get to it. Okay, here we are down at the bottom of the 80 meter band. Look up here. See how the top or upper right. First, we're going to check the SWR. In the power level. And of course, I have the drop turned down. I'll bump that up a little bit. Okay, let's get an SWR. Okay, not bad. All right, let's go all the way up to all the way up 980. All right, give me a second here. Make sure it's clear. All right, everything's clear. Uh, okay, keep your eye on SWR. When I key up here, you'll see the SWR spit out up here. If it's high at first, I mean, that's the uh, antenna tuner remembering and getting it in tune. So, okay, let's uh, key up. Just that fast. All right, the power level. Once again, SWR. Okay, let's go to the, the middle of the band, and uh, I'll be back. All right, here we are, 3.800. SWR, here we go, I'm going to key up. Power level. All right, so let's go through. We'll jump up to uh, 40 meters. This time, you, you know what to look for. Keep your eyes on uh, the frequency. And four power and SWR. So we'll get the 40. And then uh, I'll do the same thing, make sure everything's clear. And I'll do uh, a couple different frequencies here on each as we go up higher and higher. All right, I'll be back. All right, 40 meters. There we go. Let's roll it up uh, a little higher here. All right, 40 meter, 7.295. Four power. Let's get an SWR. All right, on we go. All right, 17 meter, here we go. Or power. 
All right, I'm gonna get out of here. This is actually pretty busy. <laughs> All right, on we go. Let's go to 15. Yeah. All right, here we go. It is clear. SWR on 15 meters. Here we go. One to one. Four power. Nine watts. Keep in mind, it's where my, in the software, it's where I have my uh, gain settings in, on, in the PA settings. The four power one here. Let's go back to SWR. A four power. Okay, let's go to 12 meters. Click on the button. Boop. All right, I'll be back. Make sure it's clear. All right, 12 meters. 24.955. We're going to key up. Wow, see how fast that uh, auto tuner adjusted? It was like about a second before the power was. Again, SWR. One and one. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it down there. Just for bleeps and giggles, let's go up to 10 meters. <laughs> Have a little fun up there. All right, I'll be back. Let me uh, find a clean slice. Let's go. Here, I'll be back. Okay, 10 meters, 28.590. SWR, here we go. Forward power. Okay, let's uh, do an extreme here. Let's go uh, get up and uh, dip down here. Yeah, I'll be back. Make sure it's clear. All right, 29.260. Walk you up. I guess once again, see if the auto tuner remembers. Here we go. Or I'm going to have to adjust. I don't know if I've ever been on this frequency. Here we go. Wow, okay. And forward power. Once again, SWR. That's the sound of my key or when I key up. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, Let's go, uh, hold on here, I'm gonna roll this down. And just for bleeps and giggles, all right, I'll be back. I'm gonna see if it's clear. Okay, one last check. We're at uh, 10 meter, 29, all right, yeah, 29 dot triple zero. Here we go, SWR, here we go. SWR four power. <laughs> Pretty good. So there you go. All right, with a little bit of luck, I can get my buddy Dwayne uh, to get hop on in 80 meters. We'll go through 80 meters, get some talk uh, talk time in. So all right, I shall return. All right, everybody. Yeah, sorry. Uh, my buddy was just he was just too busy to get on the air uh, with me, but that's okay. There will be other other videos. Uh, I'll I'll make a point to do a video when I'm getting some talk time in on this thing. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I think that was a fun little video. This has been the 80 meter loop antenna with the four to one balance and the uh, uh, auto tuner, uh, antenna tuner. So I think it turned out pretty good. So <laughs> just going to show you once again, when somebody's thinking about get the 80 meter loop up, this is just uh, so to prevent, prevent any discouragement. Somebody thinks that all oh, has to be perfect. So I am the king of imperfect. So, all right, going to get out of here. Got a herd of deer down there just waiting to get me. Hey, they have beefy little eyes. I know what you're up to down there. You're going to get me, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, you take care and God bless. KP68, free and clear.